This video was brought to you by Streamlabs OBS. Use the link in the description below to start building your brand and upping your game on Twitch. Hello and welcome back to the Wandering Wind where I try and give you guys as much good um, feedback and good tools for you to use for your videos, streams, and whatever that you can grow with. Today I want to talk about something that you may not know about, and that's Streamlabs OBS. Now this is a really interesting thing because everyone knows about open broadcast uh, broadcaster software or OBS. It's been out for years. It's really versatile. You can use tons of different sources, create your own custom layouts and everything else. Well, Streamlabs for a while now has been a service that allows you to make um, your own overlays for your streams, your own merch, your own um, widgets to show stuff like your donations, a donation goal and stuff like that. If you've ever seen one of my Twitch streams, you'll see all the graphics that are on top of my video. That's kind of what I use for that. Streamlabs is really a great thing. So let's just log into Twitch, log in with Twitch on Streamlabs, and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what I use the stream with. Now, first of all, I want to show you my, my dashboard. Now, this is your central hub. You'll get, um, you'll get all of your data for when you've streamed, like you'll get information about your donations, donation revenue, follows, subscriptions, hosts, bits, raids, you'll get um, shared access, you'll get a lot of stuff. This is where you put everything together. Streamlabs OBS, that's what I really want to talk about. And after just a second, we'll see the interface come up. Now this is a really good interface, a really good piece of software for stuff like this. So. Here we are in the Streamlabs OBS editor space. This is where you um, edit in all of your overlays and everything else. You can really go crazy if you want to with all this. So right here, um, I have a widget right here in, in the bottom left corner that shows graphically the amount of donations that I've received since I last emptied the, the tip jar. Up in the top left, I've got my VidCon 2019 donation goal of a thousand bucks. Up in the top, I've got a custom job where I put my, my uh, stream logo and then a ticker with just a short message on it. Over here, you have an event list. You have what is called the stream boss, which is basically just a fun way of you know, making the element of donations and follows and stuff like that a bit dynamic so that people have more fun with it. Down here we have another widget that shows recent tips, the latest tips, the latest followers, stuff like that. And then we come to here. This is basically just the same as the web version. This is your dashboard. You can access it right from the application. It's really easy to just um, get a whole lot of stuff done. But this is where I really want to show you guys what is possible. Because here, you have complete themes that you can use for your streams. You can, um, you can sort by theme colors, animated or static themes. Basically, animated or animated themes are ones that kind of move around a bit and static ones are just that there's there's stationary you've got live you've got be right back you've got offline stream starting you've got um genre categories that you can filter by and there are probably quite literally hundreds of themes that you can choose from that are interesting and good and really do add a lot to your 
stream whether you're playing video, I mean, playing video games, um, just doing an IRL stream or whatever may have you, this is a great way to get into the game of having actual um, personality behind your branding. And I think that's the best thing about this. But above all that, there's something else, something really basic that I think a lot of us miss is with regular old OBS, like with this, you have to open up in a, com a completely separate window and then do the old drag and drop here and then add the other window, take up resources, and then you can have your stream and your stream and your camera feed, and then you can have your chat over on the other side. Well, get a load of this. Boom. Right in there, right in the software. You don't have to do anything. It doesn't take up any more RAM than the application itself does. It's always there. It's always on. You can refresh the chat. You can even edit stuff like your category and, and the title of your stream on the fly as you're streaming from this. And there's a lot more, like live actions, like having a wheel that you spin for prizes, um, get, getting credits to work stream labels and other things that are really just going to help out with um, making everything work for you. I mean, this is a complete, complete software suite that helps you to really up your game with streaming. And I'll tell you what, since I've started streaming with Streamlabs OBS or Slobs, as we call it, my success has doubled. My success has really just been so much better. I've, on the regular, I've gotten at least one new follower per stream, at least one donation a week of some amount. I've been fortunate enough. Okay, my donations. I'll show you something I, don't, I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. Um, all right, here we go. One to 95 of 95 donations, a total of almost $800. In just a little over eight months, a little over eight months, I've earned about $100 a month. Most of it's gone right into my stream and everything else, but I've managed to almost earn a hundred bucks per month that I've been on. Almost that much. This is from using tools that you can easily implement and make your own. And really makes it easy to just up your game. So if you want to use this yourself, if you want to make this part of your own, um, killing it, um, toolbox, please use the, the link in the description below. Go there. I'll get a commission for having brought you there, and you can get a commission from it as well, I think. Um, we'll both end up benefiting from it, and really, I just want to say, if you want to be a great streamer, if you want to be a great creator of any kind, you had to put in the work, but this makes it so much easier, too. But really, I think the best thing you can be is yourself. There's no magic bullet, but this can definitely make it easier to find your niche, find your goal, find your place. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot, of, a lot from it. And I hope you possibly decide to take my offer and use that link below. And if you do, thank you for that. Thank you for supporting me by taking a chance in the right, taking a step and taking a chance on something that is not guaranteed to work, but has been shown over time to actually work, at least for me. And I'm, I'm pittance. I'm a pittance compared to the rest of y'all. Um, I have maybe 300 followers. 
I have maybe that many, and yet there there are a lot more people that have uh, used this than just me. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys um, come back um, for more, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.